Welcome to this course on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and biology. Today we are going to be talking uh, about oligomerization of alkenes and alkynes. Uh, this is an interesting area uh, which has emerged out of uh, zigdal natta catalysis and it has its own domain. Now we have discussed uh, this uh, alkene and alkyne oligomerization reactions earlier uh, in the context of uh, applications of organometallic uh, catalysis in large scale synthesis. In this context it is worth noting that we have spoken about uh, important industrial process which is called shell higher olefin uh, polymerization process uh, 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 which was developed in 1950s uh, to uh, make uh, use uh, of uh, various fragments of alpha olefin oligomers for commercial purpose. Now, the story is sort of uh, goes back to uh, 1950s when Shell was uh, trying to develop methods for using alpha olefins from the range of C8 to C14. So, uh, uh, we had uh, uh, discussed this uh, uh, in uh, great detail uh, uh, in our earlier uh, lecture. Uh, uh, on uh, uh, very applications of organometallic catalysis and uh, a nice review of this uh, process shell higher olefin process. or shop has been nicely reviewed uh, in this article by William Kaim. In Angu Kaim, internal uh, edition in English 2013. 52, 12492 to 12496. Uh, we have uh, uh, looked uh, into this process uh, whereby alpha olefins were uh, prepared by uh, signal not a method. C2 H4 ethylene using nickel catalyst produced alpha olefin oligomers and uh, uh, that uh, had a huge uh, distribution as is shown over here of different fragments. small percent, percent from C12 to C18 and this is greater than C18 and this is less than C12 and the distribution goes uh, something like this of which uh, the range of alpha olefins from C12 to C18 this range was used for making detergents. And uh, this was what provided uh, the impetus uh, uh, for uh, 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 looking into use of the other two fragments. Uh, which at that point of time uh, were not being used. One is the fragment which was less than uh, 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 C12 
and the fragment which is above C12. So, these fragments at that point of time were unusable and were trying to find some use to make these unusable uh, fragments. Now, uh, this oligomerization of alpha olefin uh, was produced uh, by this uh, process which is called alkene oligomerization. using Ziegler Nata catalysis. Uh, that means uh, that uh, uh, coordination insertion method. So, uh, all these uh, alpha olefins, the whole thing was produced by this uh, 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 process. Uh, uh, of having uh, have to use uh, nickel catalyst uh, 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 for alpha olefins. But of these various fragments only the usable fractions was C12 uh, to C18 was usable. Now, uh, in this shop uh, a parallel development in which they used uh, isomerization reaction reaction as well as metathesis reaction to use uh, uh, these fractions C12 and C18 to convert uh, convert to uh, around uh, something between C12 to C18 and hence can be utilized. So, uh, this was uh, uh, done using uh, Ziegler Nata catalysis and uh, a nice example is given over here in the following reaction. For example, one octane this is C 8 uh, was isomerized to give the isomerized product which is 4 octane as well as CH217, this is 1 EI cosine, this is a C20 fragment isomerization to give eight to get uh, ten EI cosine and these two together was done metathesis. to give C 10 or 2 tetradecane So, uh, what uh, uh, we have seen that uh, uh, this uh, uh, shop uh, uh, includes uh, two process uh, three process mainly the first is this uh, coordinate uh, first is uh, this uh, coordination insertion process, coordination insertion process this is number one process which generates uh, uh, all these uh, uh, this range of alpha olefins uh, generated from here. And then uh, uh, the two other process one is isomerization process 
uh, over here as well as over here uh, isomerization process and the second one is uh, metathesis process uh, which is over here. Uh, so, these two process together uh, would help uh, these uh, fractions which are less than C12 uh, uh, and C18 together to come into a range which is uh, uh, usable. So, uh, for detergent purpose, so mainly a, a couple of uh, process that came uh, together uh, uh, to uh, look at uh, to uh, find use for this. Uh, a wide range of alpha olefin as a, a part of the swap process. Now, in our discussion so far, uh, what we have done is we have already had discussed uh, 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 these reactions uh, earlier on isomerization as well as metathesis as well as this distribution curve uh, 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 as a part of olefin metathesis uh, while covering the utility of olefin metathesis in industrial scale. And uh, mm, however, we have not uh, looked into this uh, uh, oligomerization process using nickel catalyst and in today's lecture we are going to focus uh, on this alkene and alkyne uh, oligomerization using ziegler natta catalyst as a part of uh, the shop chemistry. And all of it uh, is nicely reviewed by this William Kaim article uh, given in Angu KM 52 12492 to 12496 and I uh, request all the, uh, uh, the uh, students who have over auditing to this course to go through this review uh, which is uh, uh, which explains the story and the development at that time uh, very elaborately and uh, would uh, benefit uh, uh, the reader uh, very much. So, uh, shale higher evolution process characteristics one uh, the uh, uh, it involves it involves the formations of of C8 to C18 from ethylene based on on oligomerization isomerization and alkene metathesis reaction uh, now this uh, we have uh, discover, uh, uh, discussed in detail in our previous sli uh, slide where we had shown you uh, shown uh, uh, diagrammatically where uh, with example where each of these uh, reactions uh, 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 play a role to oh, 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 produce uh, this C18 to uh, C8 to C18 fragments which are uh, uh, which had application for detergent uh, usage. So, uh, the, uh, these three reactions are to be uh, discussed uh, under uh, the shop uh, cell higher olefin process uh, uh, reaction family of reactions. Now, the other characteristics of shop is Uh, the shop process is the most successful method in industry under homogeneous conditions
and usually uh, these uh, polymerizations are carried out in uh, polar uh, solvent. So, this is one of a powerful uh, method uh, uh, in which uh, this oligomerization reactions to produce alpha alpha olefin uh, 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 using uh, ziegler natta uh, catalysis uh, um, is uh, concerned. So, SHOP is a very successful method in industry uh, and uh, it was primarily used uh, for uh, producing alpha olefins uh, from ethylene as, a, uh, as an alternative method for producing alpha olefins uh, from petroleum or by cracking uh, of natural and crude oil. So, uh, let us uh, uh, now take a look at the mechanism um, for uh, this uh, alkene and uh, uh, alkyne oligomerization uh, reaction. Mechanism. Now, uh, 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 the rule of uh, the rule of thumb is that uh, if it is uh, electron rich metal, uh, 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 then uh, oligomers uh, are uh, uh, preferred. Whereas, if it is a electron uh, deficient metal, like early transition metal, uh, then uh, uh, these uh, polymers are preferred. So, uh, for ziegler natta catalysis, the rule of thumb is for MXN. Xn type catalyst M equals electron rich. late transition metal then uh, oligomerization give uh, 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 oligomerization is uh, favored giving alpha olefins whereas when M is electron deficient, early transition metal, then polymerization is preferred. Now, in our uh, first discussion on uh, uh, the extent of the, uh, 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 the growing of the polymer chain, we had uh, said that uh, the extent of this uh, chain length is, is very much dependent on the rate in which this uh, 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 the propagation step and the uh, uh, ter uh, termination step uh, uh, they occur in a comparative sense. If propagation step is faster than the termination step, uh, then one ends up getting uh, polymers and if the propagation step is uh, comparable uh, or slower than the uh, uh, termination step, then one ends up getting uh, oligomer. And also what we see that uh, uh, these uh, for electron deficient metal, early transition metal polymer uh, polymerization uh, is preferred implying that the uh, propagation rate is uh, higher than that of the termination step. Whereas, for electron uh, uh, rich uh, late transition metal, uh, the uh, propagation rate is comparable or slower than that of the termination uh, uh, rate, one can imply implying that uh, alpha olefin oligomers are formed. Now, we are going to uh, you know, take a, a detailed look at the 
mechanism of this oligomerization reaction. So, this is the catalyst. So, uh, these uh, loses the hydrogen in a beta hydride elimination process. This is alpha carbon, this is beta carbon. In a beta hydride elimination process, giving an active uh, active species of nickel hydride along with nickel cord chloride. So, cord is eliminated and the active catalyst is formed. So, this is the active species which then enters the catalytic cycle and this is represented by this cartoon diagram. As is shown here, the nickel hydride then reacts with the olefin. Uh, by coordination insertion pathway this is the coordination so coordination step and this is the insertion step. As is shown here, and now this olefin moiety will insert into the nickel hydride bond giving creating a vacant site as is shown over here and a nickel ethyl moiety. Now, a second uh, olefin will come and bind uh, in the olefinic site coordination followed by insertion as is shown in the previous step. Now, this can proceed in two direction. 
uh, from here. The first is that it can beta eliminate as can be sh shown over here. This is alpha, this is beta. It can beta eliminate to give the catalyst nickel hydride coordinated to the alpha olefin which can eventually give the nickel hydride species and the polyphene uh, going away and the other other method is over here another olefin can another olefin can come in times bind in the vacant site in times and undergo coordinative insertion coordination insertion to give a nickel alkyl species and this nickel alkyl species can beta eliminate to give the nickel hydrogen along with alpha olefin, long chain alpha olefin and this alpha olefins uh, uh, through isomerization and olefin metathesis Metathesis is taken uh, for producing the desired fraction by shop process. So, uh, uh, what uh, uh, it shows uh, that these oligomerizations are mainly proceed by two methods, which is coordination insertion and uh, in the shop process, the late transition metal are nickel is used for olefin oligomerization and usually the active sites is a nickel hydride species is the active complex. Now nickel hydride species can uh, uh, insert olefin and then uh, a coordinate olefin and then undergo insertion um, when uh, then it can do the same thing twice over and then uh, there is a possibility in the first possibility it gives a uh, one butene and a nickel hydride or it can undergo subsequent olefin insertion to give a, a long chain nickel alkyl which can then beta eliminate to give back the nickel hydride uh, as well as alpha olefins. Now these alpha olefins are then feed into, fed into the isomerization and olefin metathesis reaction as a part of the Schwab process. So, uh, with this uh, we conclude our discussion of olefin uh, oligomerization as a uh, part of Schwab process in today's lecture and what we have done, uh, let me recapitulate, what we have done is we have looked at the shell higher olefin process uh, 
uh, in its entirety and uh, we have looked at how three different uh, applications of organometallic chemistry uh, involving this uh, alpha olefin oligomerization reaction using nickel catalyst and second the isomerization reaction and third the olefin metathesis reaction all come into play uh, in uh, uh, channelizing uh, the, uh, the various uh, 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 lengths of alpha olefin obtained for producing something which is immer, uh, important commercially particularly uh, uh, the alpha olefins in C8 to C18 fractions uh, which are used uh, 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 commercially. Uh, so, with this uh, uh, we come uh, to the end of today's lecture, we are going to uh, be taking up uh, more on olefin uh, oligomerization uh, when you continue with the discussion in the next lecture. I thank you for being with me in this lecture and I very much look forward to being with you in the subsequent lecture when we uh, talk more on olefin oligomerization reaction uh, in more detail. Till then goodbye and thank you. Mm -hmm.